It's hot air balloon season here in the Waikato and it's pretty cool to see them floating above our houses in all their different shapes and colours. But the kids here at Matamata Primary School are getting to see one right up close as air balloon pilot Murray Shaw gives them a visit. I'm here with pilot Murray Shaw who flew the hot air balloon that we saw leaving Matamata Primary School this morning. It's great to have you here today Murray. Right, thanks for asking us to come <laughs> along. We love trying to perform in front of the children and then this morning it was just so awesome because we managed to fly. So it must be pretty cool getting to share such an amazing thing with our kids such as the kids here at Matamata Primary School. So how did they sort of react to seeing the balloon and seeing it take off this morning? The kids just really love it because we actually put them in the basket and what we call a tethered ride and so they can get about five metres off the ground and they look up inside the balloon and, and watch the fire going up in there and the, it's just on the colours, the colours of the envelope. It's all different, every yeah. balloon's got different colours. Yeah, they love that. And they just love that and the yeah. size of it. So can you tell us a little bit more, Murray, about how a hot air balloon actually works? Because kids watching at home might not actually know how it gets up and floats through the sky. Okay, a hot air balloon is, is made out of material, it's called the envelope and underneath the envelope is the basket which generally has two, three bottles of LPG which you can buy at the service station and it just goes through a condenser and turns into a fire which goes up into the envelope and that heats hot air rises so eventually when you get enough hot air in there the balloon will take off and leave the ground and you can fly uh, the other day there's a balloon that got up to 11,000 feet they always work in feet, don't ask me why, but that's the <laughs> way it is, so that's about 3,000 metres. Wow, and pretty at, high. at that height you can see both coasts. Wow, that would be incredible. Well there you have it. Maybe one day you'll be lucky enough to take a ride in a hot air balloon uh, and you'll be able to see how high you can actually get up there and how it all feels to be in the basket high, high above the clouds. So we're going to go and talk to some kids who actually got to have a little go in the hot air balloon this morning. So let's go see how they found it. I'm here at Matamata Primary School with some of the kids who have had a very cool experience this morning. So first of all guys, are you able to tell me your names please? Reese, Jamie, Kaylee, Madison, Marianne, Gina, Marissa, Jason, Emma, Milana, Curiel. Fantastic. And my friend Marissa here had a very special experience. So can you tell me what happened to you this morning, Marissa? Well, I was I went up in the hot air balloon itself. That's so lucky. And were you pretty scared to do that? It's a pretty brave yeah. thing to do. At the start I was really scared, but after that I got used to it. Yeah, and how high did you go off the ground? Only a little bit, only about maybe that much. Cool, and was it very loud? Did you guys get sore ears with the loud fire roaring up like that? Yeah. 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 And have any of you been this close to a hot air balloon before? I have, yeah. um, riding it once. Did you go right up into the sky? Helping dropping like, like, and Hamilton dropping Easter eggs on Easter. Oh my gosh, that's so lucky. Did you drop them right from the air balloon in the sky? And they didn't crack? There was only fluffy ones and those <laughs> little eggs one. Oh wow, you were like the Easter bunny that flies in a hot air balloon. That's so cool. <laughs> Guys. That's right. Now, if if you guys could have your very own hot air balloon, any colour that you wanted, what would you choose? I would choose maybe pink and purple. Oh, that's so cool. I think I would choose pink and purple too. How about you? Red and orange. Rainbow with dots. I'd choose a rainbow one. Um, I would like one with fluoro colours on it. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, I would like the rainbow one too. Yeah. Probably purple with red flames. Throw pink, blue and green. Oh, blue and green. Um, indigo and rainbow. Oh wow, guys! It sounds so beautiful. I can imagine all those balloons filling the sky with colour. It would be awesome. So maybe one day you'll get the chance to have your own hot air balloon. You never know. So do any of you think that you might like to go flying in a balloon one day? Yes. yes. 
Oh, you've already been in one. How was that? The one down there, um, it was cool because my favourite bit when um, they had the fire going up, that was one of my favourite bits of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that's, of course, how the hot air balloon actually flies, is the flames fill the balloon with heat and it lifts it off the ground. So that's what makes them go up so high into the air. So that's very cool. So what are your favourite things about the hot air balloon? I like the way that it puffed up like that. <laughs> yeah? I like the way how it goes up and down. Yeah. The way that it colours go out. I like it when, when you go up and you can see all the other hot air balloons. I like it how the flames can make it go up so it can go in the sky. I like the colours of it. I like looking down and seeing how far it is down. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot and I like the colours. I like the colours. The colours are bright. Those are all very, very cool things about the hot air balloon. So we've really enjoyed talking to you guys today. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.